Brothers and sisters, today the whole world is celebrating the birthday of our Savior Jesus Christ. And people are wishing one another Merry Christmas, which is very distorted. Merry making, it becomes so commercialized. And many people just say it out of the... No, because everybody is saying it, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. They forgot that this is holy and blessed Christmas. We have been so influenced that we don't realize, you see. Yeah. So for many people, Christmas means merry making. Yeah? They will have parties and parties and then they commit sin, you know, this. Yeah? So no more holy. So tonight, brothers and sisters, we are celebrating Holy and blessed Christmas, the birthday of our Savior. It is on this night, more than 2,000 years ago, God reveals His love for all of us. It is because of God's grace and mercy that He sent His only Son into this world to become one of us, become flesh to live among the sinful humanity, in order to show us the way to heaven. You know, our Christianity is so much different from other religions, because all the religions, they are looking forward you know, to reach God, but they never reach God, you see. But Christianity is God reaching out to us. God loves the world so much that He sent His Son from heaven to come into this world to become a little helpless child of Mary. And the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, the Word of God tells us that the people that walk in darkness have seen a great light, and those who live in the land of each other, a light has shone. So God come into this world to brighten the world. The world has been so darkened by sin. And this is revealed again in Prophet Isaiah. The child was born for us, a son given to us. And this is what? His name is Wonder, Counselor, Mighty, Eternal, Father, Prince of Peace. Now God loved changes our lives because of his love and mercy. God renews history. God liberates us from all evil. Especially at this time, this pandemic, so many things are happening, floods, typhoon, super typhoon, and all this tornado, cyclone, everywhere, fires, flood, plane crash, you can name it, all the disasters, and today people's heart are distorted, they are hurt, they are confused, they don't know what to do. So the Prince of Peace has been born to give us peace, love and joy, to brighten up our lives. In Jesus, the Most High God made Himself tiny so that He can conquer the proud and the powerful. So Christmas reminds us of God's eternal, unconditional love. No matter how sinful we are, how wicked we are, God loves each one of us in a very special way. Why He loves the sinners so much? Why He loves the wicked people so much? He even pray for those people who crucify Him. Why? Because each one of us, no matter how sinful you are, is created in the image and likeness of God. So God never changes His love. His love is everlasting. It's all the same all the time. And God never tires of loving us. It is we very often you know, do not come to Him. That's why we don't feel His love. Those who come to Him and repent of their sin, the love of God will fill our heart. That's why in today's second reading from St. Paul's letter to Titus, the Word of God reminds us, He sacrificed Himself for us in order to set us free from all wickedness 
and to purify a people that could be his very own and with no ambition except to do good. And the word of God reminds us what must we do now. We have to do is to give up everything that does not lead us to God. We must give up everything that will lead us to hell. Anything that doesn't lead us to God, we have to get rid of them. And what are these? Huh? We must, this old worldly ambition, our self-restraint, that we must live good and religious life here in this present world. Why many people don't experience the love of God? Because they have worldly ambition. They want to become great. They want to become high. They want to become powerful people. So they have flesh desire, desire of the flesh. They want pleasures. Yeah? That's why they cannot experience the love of God. No matter how they seek the pleasure of this world, it's only temporarily. And at the end, they feel sad, they feel depressed, they feel despair, and they want to commit suicide. So if you want to experience the love of God, we must give up all this worldly ambition. And we must learn from Jesus who gave himself completely for our salvation, who sacrificed his life for all of us. And praise God, God has sent the little soul to nurture us, to lead us, to guide us, to correct us, and to lead us to heaven. When you see alive, let's learn quickly from her life prepared by the Lord. And I was preparing the homily, then I skip over the message of the Lord, and I found this message is very important. That was on Christmas Eve, uh, 2007. Sí, that the infant Jesus, infant baby, shed tears. Why? It should be a beautiful occasion, happy occasion, joyful occasion. Why the infant Jesus shed tears? Here's this message. The great majority of the shepherds remain indifferent turning their faces away, refusing to get involved, compromising with the flow of the world. So they compromising with the flow of the world, flowing the world, you see, not flowing the Lord. Because they are only interested in saving their faces, being attended to others' ears and eyes, and seeking their own security. Because of this, even on this joyful Christmas, the infant Jesus cannot help but shed tears. So Mother Mary is reminding us, my extremely beloved children, as I offer up the infant Jesus in the temple, I offer you up your soul on God's altar today. Because Jesus Christ, before he died on the cross, he entrusted all of us to the care of Mother Mary. So therefore, if you make strenuous efforts to accomplish the most sublime mission entrusted to you, Satan, who is afflicting you, will retreat before long. You will see the dawn of the new era, and thus you'll be blessed with joy, love, and peace. And on the last day, you will receive and wear the laurel crown at my side before the Lord's throne and enjoy eternal happiness. Yeah. So tonight, brothers and sisters, let us learn from baby Jesus, uh, who entrusted himself to the care of Mother Mary, who depended on Mother Mary for everything. So we too must depend fully on Mother Mary, learn from Jesus the way, the truth, and the lie, by becoming a baby of Mother Mary. Don't think like an adult. Don't act like an adult. Uh, Mother Mary can help us. God has become a baby of Mother Mary. Who are we? So we too must entrust ourselves to the care of Mother Mary. That's why the little soul has been doing that oh, since she was young. She entrusted herself completely to the Lord. Every time she said, if I live, it's for the Lord. If I die, it's all for the Lord. She lived for others, and especially at this time, she becomes so weak, so fragile, and no more energy left. 
Last time you heard that she is working on thin layer of eyes. The eyes may break any time. This message was given yesterday. Uh, so hurriedly did the rough translation. So wake up, brothers and sisters. Yeah. She's just crying out to God the Father, to Jesus and to Mother Mary. What can I do now? Uh, no more energy left, you know. And so many people still do not arm themselves with the five spirituality, still going on their own way, see crowd to the Lord so desperately. What should I do now? And look at the picture of Mother Mary shedding tears of blood. And Mother Mary really shed tears of blood in front, you know, of, of her. <laughs> and she said, I was so broken-hearted that I prayed with tears, Father God, my beloved Jesus, my heavenly mommy, the world is collapsing like this right now. But since even your children who have been called are not awake and are now so they are so complacent that my heart hurts so much. And she, her heart hurts so much. She realized. The heart of Jesus and the Mother Mary even hurt more. And my it? heart hurt so much. But how much would the heart of Jesus and Mother Mary hurt? I feel difficulty because I'm so unworthy. What can I do? She <laughs> has done her utmost best and need those who are close. Not even one, um, one spirituality. Yeah. And the Mother Mary showed her the condition of the war. The world has become upside down. And God the Father could not hold the hand anymore. It's just shaking, shaking. And more, more, all you know, oh, this pandemic, other than pandemic, I don't know what kind of pandemic anymore. And now this, uh, what, uh, Omicron is coming. The, another virus, another virus. More and more serious. Because people are not awake. Jesus Christ already sacrificed his life. A mother may shed tears and tears of blood. Well, what can he do? And he is so already so exhausted. No more strength, no more energy left. And we remain complacent. Luke Wong. No matter what Omar said, you know, you know, this go in, this out. No more feeling. So brothers and sisters, at least those who are close to her, this is a more safe place. If you are outside, don't know how long you can survive. This is the last. It never happened this in Malaysia alone. Huh? My own country, you know. After the flood, the waters are coming up to the roof. Some people have to sleep on the roof there, you know. So the water society decided to look for some people. So many people would die inside the house. <laughs> it's becoming worse and worse, this war. Why? Because people, they go on their own ways. They do not repent of the sin. So the Lord wants us, Mother Mary wants us to be united with the little soul, to support her. How long can we live in this world? Why is it for pleasure of this world just for a show while then you die a miserable death? You know? We have no love at all. Jesus Christ sacrificed his life for us. You know? Show his how much he loved us. Where is our the love of God? Lord, let us make a new start, brothers and sisters. Don't be too complacent. The time will come if you are not united with the Lord, with the little soul, and with one another. You will cry and scream. It will be too late. So be united with the little soul. We want to reform our life, change our life. Don't be like Cain and the Judas. God can change it, but they don't change. Huh? So they end up in hell, burning eternally. So today, on this Christmas day, the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us learn from the infant Jesus. Yeah. Become humble little soul like baby Jesus. Throw away our pride, our ego, our arrogance. If you don't want to become humble little soul, you just cannot go to heaven. Because Proud people cannot go up to heaven. They will end up in hell. Come they will be burned eternally. 
So wake up, brothers and sisters, wherever you are. The time is very short. There is no more time to hesitate. No more time to procrastinate. We have to do it hurriedly. And let's go on our knees now every day and repent of our sin and make a new start. The Lord has given us the last weapon. If we don't use them, then this weapon will be taken away from you. So, brothers and sisters, all right, let us be united. We tell it so, and we one another. Be a one heart, mind, and soul. Why worry about the war? Worldly ambition. What that is profitly man if he gains the whole world and lose his soul? So this message will be given to you, all right? So it be really careful. It's very, very important. Don't join forces of the devil of division. Follow Jesus. Follow Mother Mary. Follow the footsteps of the little soul. So that we will all make a new start, brothers and sisters, and earn ourselves fully with the five spiritualities. Amen.